7-3, they're highlighting that we're going to start using the go to function. Um, so what happens to a lot of people is they do not take the time to notice what the go to function is made of. They just keep coding. Um, and then eventually they're not, they're going to have you define the go to function. So pay attention. Our go-to function involves turning to an item and stepping the distance to the item. Makes sense, right? Go-to is always gonna have the mouse go turn to, step distance to. So, and the M means whatever we put in there. That's our variable that's holding a place. So here we have go-to match. They're showing us how to use it. And then grab. And then our next thing that we have to go to, and you can see go-to is down here. But in the future, when you have to define the function, it doesn't appear till you define it. So the next thing we're going to do is go to the pile. And then we're going to drop. 